Flowers marked the front steps to a home that is now a stark reminder of tragedy. It uh, was an unusual kind. It wasn't just accidental. It was such a deliberate taking of lives that I think is disturbing to people. The King County Medical Examiner confirming tonight that 48 year old Salvatore Ragusa was the man who died in a fire this Saturday afternoon. His death ruled a suicide. It's so real though that something so tragic and you have no idea what's happening and it's right around your corner. Also dead, another adult and two children. Seattle police say an 11 year old girl escaped and was able to call for help. Police responding to a call of gunshots. They were met with flames and a barricaded front door. That fire killed four people, including Ragusa. He was a very demanding, controlling father uh, of the family about comings and goings and when and where, yeah. but, but friendly, always friendly, wanted to be friendly with everybody. Court records reveal Ragusa was charged with arson and domestic violence in April of 2019. He was suspected of setting fire to his ex-wife's apartment building. Investigators claimed that the smoke detector had been removed and several sprinkler heads were covered in duct tape. In February of 2020, he pleaded guilty to lesser charges, was given credit for nearly nine months in jail, and required to follow conditions set by a mental health court. After following those conditions for two years, his case was officially closed in February of 2022. A year and a half later, and he'd be found dead in a fire. It's hard to believe that this could happen. Tonight, the neighborhood mourning the loss of a family as attention now turns to the 11 year old girl who escaped the flames alive. At this point, we do not know the identity of the other adult found dead or the two children. We don't know how they died. That information is expected to be released by the county in coming weeks. In the newsroom, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.